welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video today i am actually going to be trying out the christmas foods that i've never tried before or i've not had in ages because they don't only come out at christmas time so i am actually going to be going to asda obviously i only ever get one chance to film this video and this is in december so i might as well try and make the most of the filming in december while i can't so i'm actually going to be going to asda it's only like a 10 minute a drive i'll probably take you along in the shop as well maybe vlog a few bits in there but they do have like a really good christmas range for like the decorations and stuff i am actually going to be having a look for decorations while i'm in there as well because it is the best for the christmas trees and all sorts of christmas stuff so yeah but before i get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up comment down below also subscribe and let's go on with the video right everybody so i've just been to Asda and as you can as you can tell, I've got all the Christmassy stuff. There wasn't really much selection compared to Tesco and stuff. There wasn't really much selection, but I managed to spend in total seven sixty. So I got Pringles, obviously they're Christmassy. Chula is actually on offer at the moment. These gingerbread digestives. I've got some snowballs. I've got. I've never seen these before. These are pink prosecco garment marshmallows, and then a chocolate orange tree brownie because it it looked really cute, and that was only a pound as well. So that is all I've got. So I'm now actually going to test them out when I get home, and I'll give you guys my honest opinion on everything. So yeah, pretty excited. Right, so I am now home. As you can tell, I'm kind of like in a more professional setup and everything like that. But I've now kind of laid all the foodie bits out and I've obviously kind of showed you guys what I've already bought. I am actually feeling pretty thirsty and if you know, you know what this stuff is. It is amazing. It's basically called Schler and you do it in all sorts of different flavours. The white grape, the black grape, the rosé one. What other flavours do they do? I think they do elderflower kind of flavour as well. This is the other type of drink you'll probably only have at Christmas time because it just kind of feels Christmassy when you drink this and it does kind of taste of wine a little bit and like that's why I think it's so special at Christmas time because people always they kind of have it instead of wine if they maybe if they maybe driving home or something or going somewhere afterwards you know. The bar got the rosé flavour because this one the taste of rosé wine but without with alcohol taste so it's not been in the fridge but it is still pretty cold it kind of has been shaking around in my bag a little bit so i'm hoping it is all right and it won't fizz up everywhere what is your guys's favorite flavor of the schler i would probably say the white grape or this one the black grape is really nice but the white grape is nicer it's really meant to be going in like a fancy glass but the only glass i have at the moment is this one so i'm just gonna pour it out and hopefully it it, it won't fizz up everywhere no oh my god it, it smells amazing already who else has this at christmas time or like on christmas day i mean i probably more so had this when i wasn't illegal to drink but even then like a lot of british like teenagers do drink on christmas day at like the age of 15 16 17 but still this it just brings back like a Christmassy feel. Oh my god, I I'm really excited. Alright, so I'm just gonna pour some out and just gonna taste it because oh my god, the colour! Oh my god, the colour! It looks like a rose wine. Wait. Oh my god, it does taste like I think I've not had it in ages. You can't forget how much of like a wine taste it has. Oh my god, that is amazing. My sister hates this type of stuff so i'll be having it all to myself i might even share it with my mum but this is amazing mm. it has to make me feel christmasy already guys and i'm i'm gonna have this drink throughout the whole video because that is honestly amazing so moving on to food i did get like four or five foodie bits i do also have my roses here that i already have open but these are literally top tier like the chocolates to get Christmas. Yeah, these type of boxes always make you feel really Christmassy as well, in my opinion. We used to always get the celebration and heroes, but I think the roses would be those two. That might be a very unusual opinion, unpopular opinion, 
an unusual, unpopular opinion. What are your guys' favourite, like, sweet and chocolate boxes at Christmas time? Because it's got to be these in Quality Street. I love these, like, Quality Street, um, but I love them as well. But in my family, we usually get a celebration. The thing is, here with them is, oh, someone's ringing me. I only like the Maltese and Mars bars and Galaxy in it. I like, I hate everything else, like, it's a bit of like a waste, you know what I mean? But with these, you've got like strawberry dreams, which are my favourite, caramel, fudge, hazelnut. I do have to say though, with these signature truffles are absolutely vile. I, I don't care what anybody says, but I'm actually going to have a, a strawberry cream because it's actually part of my advent calendar, so I will have this later on. But yeah, the roses are from here, yeah? they don't even at me, like literally. Anyway, yeah, let's move on from that unpopular opinion. I think I'm going to start off with these. So this is basically pink Prosecco Gourmet Marshmallows. I've never seen anything like this before and they were part of the Asda Extra Special. It's basically like Asda's version of Tesco's Finest pretty much, if you know what I mean. And these were £2, so probably like a little bit expensive, but you never really have marshmallows at Christmas time, so I thought it's got the Prosecco flavour in it and I thought, well Prosecco you should have it more at Christmas time on Christmas morning when you're opening your presents. Well, I certainly do anyway. I don't know about you guys, but I just turned into an alcoholic on Christmas day. Like, I'm pretty sure it's normal for people to have like a glass of Prosecco on Christmas morning, isn't it? I don't think it is. They don't really smell much in the packet, but... What a con! Oh my god, you know, if you only get like 10 and they were £2, I mean, I'm going to be excited to try them. I do... I really like marshmallows, but it's not something I would associate with Christmas. If these are Prosecco flavoured, I think I will really like them. So, oh my god, they smell so strong of Prosecco. Ooh, that's kind of giving me a bit of a bad head. It literally just smells of that slur thing, to be honest. Yeah, that's marshmallow, pretty small and pink. Wow. Oh my god. It literally tastes like the strawberries and prosecco. Mmm. Wow. It's very sugary, but they have oh my god. If you love your wine and prosecco, you will love these, but if you hate like the prosecco stuff, you'll absolutely hate them. Oh my god. Mmm. They are a ten out of ten. Oh my god. It's a shame you can't get these any other time because I will probably get these all the time now. Oh my god. Just get yourself down to Asta. They are amazing. They just smell stronger than what they taste like. But they are, oh my god, they are amazing. So that's the box in case you want to get them. And these were £2 and they were in the kind of like the Christmas kind of sweet and chocolate aisle, I think. Next up, we have the Asda chocolate orange brownie tree. If you know me, I absolutely love my chocolate. I love chocolate brownie and chocolate orange as well. I love it. I was actually going to buy a chocolate orange and then I thought, well, it's just like, I don't know, like, it obviously is Christmassy, but. I got this instead because like, it looks a bit more Christmassy, you know, so it's in the shape of a tree and I'm really excited to try this out because I love my chocolate and it's obviously Christmassy themed which makes it really cute and Christmassy and it's chocolate orange at the end of the day. Oh my god, that actually smells divine. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so excited to try this. You're probably thinking what a saddle you are, but this is actually amazing. Look at that, look how cute that is. Right, I'm not going to eat it all, because I'd probably be sick. It's quite a big portion. Mmm, wow. That is, mmm, that is a 10 out of 10 again. I'm sorry, but Asda, at the moment, you are absolutely winning it. Like, you literally are. Mmm. Oh my god, I can't get enough of this Christmas stuff. This is why I love Christmas because you just get to, you just have an excuse to eat 
a load of rubbish. But yeah. Then what I will say is, obviously supermarket brownies are obviously going to be drier compared to homemade ones. And if you don't know, I, I do have a boyfriend who makes cakes and brownies and stuff and his brownies are like really moist and fudgy. So compared to his brownies he makes, it's obviously not going to be nowhere near as good. But for like a supermarket brownie, this is amazing. If you love your brownies, your chocolate, you get yourself to Asda again. As far as picking these up on the way, oh, that is, that, oh, I can't stop smelling it. Right, to yours. So next up, we either have the option of Digestive's you know, Seasonal Edition Gingerbread Milk Chocolate Slices, which look really good. I love my gingerbread. We also have you know, the Classics, the Cadbury Mini Snowballs. These, if you've never had these, where have you been hiding? Oh, they are... Again, top tier. And then Pringles, which are obviously Christmassy. But when you have these at Christmas time, they always seem more special because like you, you can eat a full tub within like a day. But yeah, I, I think it's time to go for something a bit savoury. Just kind of divide it up a bit. Oh, are you ready? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Hey, once you pop, you can't stop. Literally. Is that true? No, is that true? Because it really is true. I seem to have a really weird obsession with smelling foods before I try them. I don't know why that is. I think it's just to make sure that you know, my nose buds are, are liking the smell of things, you know? Oh my god. You know what I'm going to be doing today? After I film this video, I'm just going to be stuffing my face with crap and then I'll complain why my skin is so bad but who cares, it is Christmas at the end of the day. I think everybody has been using this excuse throughout December, it's Christmas, it's fine, you know, you know, yeah, it's got to be like that. I feel as if I'm drinking rosé wine but it's alcohol free. I think I'm going to get this every time I want to have a drink instead of actually getting like an alcoholic drink because it one thing, it tastes the same, second thing, you won't ever get like drunk off it and you won't have a bad head in the morning so it really is a win-win <laughs> anyway next up we will try the, these McFitties the digestives the gingerbread things the fun fact about where I live that we actually have a McFitties factory they're probably not made in the same factory however they do make a lot of ginger biscuits so it could possibly be made in there, but yeah, I love these so much. And the good thing about these things are, oh my, oh my god, they're tiny. I was expecting them to be really big. Since when did these kind of cake bars get they're really small? Because who remembers when they used to be like this big? It is probably a good thing actually, because I probably end up like eating the whole thing. But yeah, I I'm gonna try these out. Oh right, so. It's like a layer of chocolate and then the actual biscuit underneath, which I like. Oh my god, it smells like gingerbread. This gingerbread smell smells exactly like the, the biscuit factory where I live because it literally fills the air with the smell. Mmm, oh my god. That is insane. Oh my god, mmm. It's like eating a, a gingerbread a man, but more like they're not biscuity, cause, like it's more cakey. Oh my god. Oh my god, the gingerbread flavour is so nice. And now, time for these bad boys, honestly. I am excited because you know, these are really nice. They're like you can only get them at Christmas time. Oh, by the way, there's brownie crumbs in my bed and I literally changed my bed last night. I didn't change my actual bed. I mean, in the bedding, if that makes sense. So yeah. I should probably wrap this brownie up because I think it's going to leave a lot of crumbs. It's just like if what you always have at Christmas time, regardless. The other thing is a bit hard to open. Right. Oh, 
Jeez Louise. Right, yeah, I've opened it. Yeah, these are really, like, yeah, these are really good because it kind of like an icing sugar thing. But, yeah, these have gone smaller, I've noticed. I know it says how many snowballs in the packaging. But, I think it has actually, yeah, they've gotten smaller. Yeah, but everything's gotten smaller now. Oh, mmm. They're so basically a Christmas version of them in the eggs, but just coated in, in ice and sugar. Mmm. I could eat a full pack of these and still want more. I think I'm actually going to be lighting my little gingerbread candle now. Because it is beautiful. If you've been to Home Bargains and actually bought this, you know. This literally smells of you know, the taste of the digestive thing I just had. Oh, that is pure Christmas in a candle. And this is only 2 99 for like a, a huge candle and I've been burning this for about like a month and a half and it's only halfway there so I recommend that candle. It seems as though it is a Christmas themed video. But anyway, I think if I had to choose what it was my favourite food item it's a really hard decision. I'll probably have to say the brownie because it was just... Oh no, actually, no. These things were my favourite, actually, because they the tasted more Christmassy. I think the gingerbread, it just reminds me of Christmas, and that's probably why I love the, the candle so much, and I was obsessed with these. And it just reminds me of home as well, because the, where I live, it just smells of gingerbread, well, the ginger basically gingerbread all the time. I am going to be ending this video here so if you guys have enjoyed watching me try out the Christmas foods please make sure to leave a thumbs up and if you guys would like to see some more Christmas content please make sure to give me some more ideas. I will film them for you before it's actually Christmas because it's coming around very quick I'm not gonna lie like as I film this Christmas it's actually gonna be in 16 days like where does the time go? But yeah Please make sure to leave me some suggestions and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody!